everyone and welcome back to Belinda's DIYs. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today I'm going to be revising this do-it-yourself face mask right here. Now this is one that I previously DIY'd but there is some things that it lacks so I went ahead and I added some of these features and that is having a pocket so that you can slip in the filter and also something for your nose where it'll go over your nose bridge and it'll fit nice and snug. I'll go ahead and link that video up above and also down below so that you can see how I created this original face mask. Before I get started, I'm just gonna ask that if you would please consider to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon on the corner so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Really quickly, I just want to show you the original video that I made. Um, I just don't want you to be completely lost as to how I made the mask, just so that you can have a glimpse of it. Like I said, I will link the video up above and down below so that you can see exactly how I created the mask. I just wanted you just to take a quick look. Okay, so let me get started by showing you the original mask. As for your comments, I realized that I needed to have made a pocket so that I could slip in a filter and also something for the nose bridge. For the pocket, I went ahead and I cut a piece of cloth measuring four by seven. And I'm also gonna be using a pipe cleaner. I'm also gonna be using the fabric hot glue and also my glue gun. Some of you suggested to use coffee filters as filters for these face masks, so I'm going to go ahead and use these. The first thing that I'm going to do with the cloth is I'm going to fold it half an inch all the way around and then I'm going to iron it down. And then I'm going to glue the seam down by using some fabric hot glue. Next, I bended the pipe cleaner in half and then I kind of twisted it together so that it would be one. The next thing that I'm going to do is lift up that first pleat on my mask and then I'm going to place the wire in the center and then I'm going to glue it down. So I'm going to start by putting a dot of hot glue right there in the center of the fold. And then I'm going to place the wire on it and then press it down to make sure that it adheres. And then I'm going to add some hot glue along the side of the wire. And then bring the fold over and then just press it down so that it can adhere. And now as you can see the wire is hidden underneath the first pleat. And now you can bend it and adjust it to your nose bridge. And that will seal your nose and that way you're better protected. Next, I'm gonna add the pocket, and so I'm gonna start by opening up my mask. And I'm gonna place the pocket just underneath that first pleat where I put the wire. And once I glue it down, this is how it's gonna look. And this is the side that goes over your nose and mouth. So I'm gonna start by adding some glue on the bottom and the sides, and I'll leave the top open. And now I have the pocket so I can insert a filter. And here I'm just showing you how I'm inserting a cardboard template that I made because I'll be using this so I can cut out my filters. And the template size is three by four. And here now I'm just gonna cut the filter and I layered it with three filters. Well, that's it for this short video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget, I'm going to go ahead and link the video of this original mask. I'm going to link it up above and down below. You have yourself a blessed day. Until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.